Hello, world music students. Today I want to show you the Indian Saranji. This is an Indian fiddle. It has three gut strings, which are bowed. And then it also has 38 sympathetic strings, or chiktari, which are located on either side of the main strings and also on top. So the saranji has these sympathetic strings so that it amplifies each note. And it's in the law of, har of harmonics that the strings will vibrate when another string is played. For example, if you play the string C, you hear that ringing. That means the sympathetic strings or the chiktari, those are ringing because they're the same note. So the chiktari that are C are helping the gut string C to be louder. This is how people amplified instruments before uh, electronics let us amplify it. So thank you, science. Uh, now the Indian solfege is a little different than what we're used to. Instead of do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, their first note is sa. So sa would correspond with the first note of the rag. The rag is a scale and it makes up the raga, which is the larger song. And for our purposes, we are starting with sa, which would be our note uh, C. Now, um, let's talk a little bit about how to hold the bow. You hold the bow with your thumb on top, and then you turn the bow over, and then your other fingers kind of just support the bow like this. And I want to demonstrate how to play with your left hand. You actually play on your cuticles. And it was so painful for Saranji players long ago when they would play, um, they would often accompany Devadasis, which are the dancing girls. Um, so it, it was just, it, it's a very, it would take you a long time to build up calluses on that sensitive part of your finger. Um, let me just play a little bit for you. I'm just gonna play a scale. So 